What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? All right, real quick. I want to have a conversation about something that happened to me yesterday. So this video is going to be entitled The Woman of Your Past. So when the whole situation with Diddy was kicking off and Cassie came back after all these years and made all these allegations and he had to pay her off and stuff like that. Again, I know that Diddy is a demon, right? He's on demon time 24 seven and it has been for the last 30 years, right? So I'm not knocking that. However, you know, I thought it was crazy to be able to come back after all this time and, and, and all this stuff. So it is what it is. That's the situation. It's funny because I had a, I had a conversation with my father and he was talking about how he was even worried that, you know, a woman could come back after all these years and make up allegations. And I'm like, dad, I don't, you know, my, my dad is a, is, is a geeky kind of guy, you know, he's not a ladies man, but. He still gets some women, you know. Father has definitely still gotten some women. But anyway, that's like my father. What, what, what would you be worried about? Funny enough, yesterday, I received a text message from someone randomly that I have not heard from in years. And she started off the text message with apologizing. You know, like, um, mind you, I have not messed with this, this young lady since MySpace days. Yes, I said that correctly. Since my space days, I haven't messed with her since then. I haven't spoken to her for maybe three years now, but I haven't messed since my space days. So she texts me apologizing. And I'm like, what are you apologizing for? She, she basically stated she's apologizing for her antics before and how she came out. And I was like, okay. Uh, I, I, I don't care. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking about you like that. So you ain't got to apologize or nothing. But okay, no problem. I appreciate it. And so I asked her. I was like, so what were your antics about anyway? Because I don't know what she's referring to. But I'm like, okay, no problem. Uh, well, what are your antics about anyway? She's like, oh well, you know. Um, all right. Let me. Let me. I'm gonna read it without saying too much. Not being prepared and dealing with the opposite sex. No emotional intelligence on my end. I was like, okay, all right, no problem. And I asked her, like, you know, I hope that, um, I, I forgot what was said in the conversation. I'm not going to continue reading it word for word, but I asked her, like, I hope I wasn't the, the cause of this, that, and the third. And indirectly, she said I was. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And it just got me thinking, like, should I really be speaking to this person? Should I be texting this person? Should I make sure going forward that I have no conversation with any woman on my past because I got to thinking like, yo, what if this person, one, I'm pretty sure, I guess she's going through some type of healing, maybe some type of uh, counseling, you know, something that's maybe, because unless you're just randomly hitting up me, maybe you want to see what's going on for the future of them, but if not, you're obviously probably, you know, trying to do some emotional healing or mental healing or whatever, which is perfectly fine. But then it got me kind of concerned because I'm just like, what if it was a situation where this person is trying to pin something on me or, or something where this person is trying to come back after all this time, like, hey, you're responsible for this. You did this or you did that. And, and I'm just like, hey, what? What's going on? You know, so it just made me it made me hesitant, honestly. And this was I had all these thoughts after the conversation. So I would have been screwed. 100% if if anything but it just made me realize you have to be so careful you have to be so careful in what you say who you get involved with any emotions feelings anything like that you have to be so careful you cannot take anything for granted you can't just think oh this is just an interaction we're enjoying ourselves we're having fun it is too easy for an individual to come back Years later, you don't even remember the situation. Like she's she told me she found conversations from years ago, and I was like, "Yeah, I want to see them," and she didn't want to send them to me. I'm like, "Okay, whatever." I wasn't even gonna wasn't wasn't even gonna push the conversation, but it's like, you know, she has images of conversations that I don't have. I don't remember, you know, from years ago. 
And so it's just like, you gotta be so careful about everything and everyone, but yeah, very interesting. Uh, that's all I want to share. Like, you know, we gotta be so careful about our interactions with, with these women, with exes. Um, like, gotta have your guard up. And it's unfortunate you gotta have your guard up, but you gotta have your guard up. You know, you can't, you can't be lackadaisical out here. You, you have to be on guard. So, just my thoughts real quick. I wanted to uh, share um, my opinions on it. Yeah, that's all. Later.